I decided to begin a spring series of bunnies. I'm gonna draw over mommy sheep and the baby lambs. I often do that with failed paintings. I always scrape and wipe down all that I can from the failed paintings before starting a new one. got a cast shadow pretty much all through here is a cast shadow there's a strong source of light right through here very strong he's backlit actually he's backlit I'm just looking for shapes right now. executive decision to lighten the bunny there. Watch carefully as I steal paint from the lower part of the bunny to put on the top of his head. Here I'm putting in the darkest areas of 
the lighter color on the bunny. Here there's more pressure on the brush. Let's try to get the background in. So let's see. I think I'm liking this start. Now the big question is, how do I finish this? <laughs> Here I'm changing the temperature of the green from warm to cool, and I think it's gonna work better. Here I'll begin to bring up the greens to indicate grass. And here I'm using the scratch out tool to create whiskers. And for backlighting. Softening where the bunny is placed in the grass. I'm gonna put a little bit more light coming in here. making this less green here. Let's just try a lot of white. This is very thickly applied paint, but notice my brushwork. Notice how I turn and twist the brush. Notice the pressure 
differences. Sometimes I put a lot of pressure and other times not so much. You can also see that this lighter color in the background is bringing out the bunny more. And now I'm dragging it down to just unify the overall effect. There is no medium in this color mixture. Yeah. I'm using the warmer color to suggest the backlighting. See about splattering. Oops, that did not work. And you know why? There's too much medium in it. Now let's try it. See, I don't like this. So I couldn't get the splattering to really take. So now I'm just putting random dots everywhere to suggest splattering. Splattering is also another way to unify the background with bunny.